So it's that time of year for me. Uh, we've got the carp fishing out of the way and I always look forward to, to the winter months because um, I predominantly fish for silvers. Obviously, as you well know, I've took over Moreland's farm and we've introduced the Silverfish League here. Uh, and the response that we've had has been absolutely brilliant. Um, we've got over 50 people on it. Um, we've missed a couple obviously due to COVID and hopefully uh, not this weekend coming, the weekend after we can start our first one. I love this time of year, uh, plenty of service to be caught. And due to the, the response that I had from my Selfish League that we've run here, which I've never done here before, I've introduced a, a festival which we're going to run in February. Uh, and already we've got, you know, three or four, maybe five England internationals that have booked in, which is fantastic for me. Um, because we're going to get some, hopefully get uh, some big names down here and fish for the silvers. And I'm even getting sort of text messages from, from other people saying, you know, we didn't realise there were so many silvers in there. The problem is with a lot of people who used to come here is that everybody fished for carp, so the silvers were neglected. Um, and now this silver, silverfish fishing down here has been phenomenal uh, and everybody's catching fish. Tactics today that we've been using, you know, I've had, I've had a short line, which is a top kit. I've had a top kit and three and then I fished at 13 metres. It's been pretty slow to start. Um, obviously we've had some frost down here. Um, and all of that, I've had a strung out rig, so obviously it falls through the water nice and slowly so then you can pick up fish all, all the way to the bottom. I've had a random F1, I've had a random big perch, uh, and it's generally been hard. And obviously with the cameras that we've had today, obviously on the bank, it makes, you wouldn't believe, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but it's made a massive difference today because what we've done, we've come away as it started to rain and then there's been a few fish caught. We've caught some F1s, we've caught some skimmers, and then we've gone back up to film again, and it's slowed them back off again. So if you have got someone standing behind you and all of a sudden you can't catch any fish, just ask them politely to sit down behind you. They can carry on watching you, which is nice for someone to come and sit with you anyway, um, but just ask them to keep down because sometimes, as from today, it's, it's made a massive difference and the fish will not feed, they just swim away. Silverfish maggot is my go-to hook and the reason I use this hook is because it's got a lovely little apex at the bottom of the hook which I can present the maggot on really nicely and it stops you getting a, a double over and what I mean by that sometimes you know you might bump a fish um, and, and you lose it and when you come back in the maggot's doubled over. With this hook you've got a nice little apex right at the bottom of the hook and the maggot sits in there perfect. That's why these hooks are my go-to hook every time I'm fishing maggots. So as you all well know, I've been using the uh, hook plate system for all my carp fishing throughout the summer and now they've bought a silverfish range out and today I've been using the silverfish maggot uh, which is obviously on the plate as well and I have to say even when, when you take them off they are so straight and the hooks are tied so well. You know, I'll be honest with you, if, I, if they wasn't up to scratch that I think I wouldn't be using them and I would use them every day of the week. They are superb. So obviously during this, this time that we're in at the minute with COVID and we haven't been able to run matches, um, I've let pleasure anglers use their keep nets for silverfish only. Um, and I've been going around taking photographs, you know, at the end of their sort of session that they've had. And I have to say that it's been a real eye opener that everyone has caught roughly between 10 and 20, maybe 25 pound, but no one's run away with it. So it's been pretty fair all the way around. And, and I'm looking forward to this league that we're running um, you know, there's certain venues you could go to and they could, someone could be sitting on bream or whatever and catch 50, 60 pound. That won't happen here. This will be a very, very fair league and everybody will sit down and catch between 10 and 20 pound of fish. And for me, that's what it's all about. It's a fair match and anybody could win it. 